Hello! Welcome to my channel! Well, if you clicked on this video, then you're looking for crochet ideas. 50 crochet ideas compiled together in a little list. I'm going to break this up into categories. So the categories are hats and hair accessories, tops, bottoms, room decor, and then all the other accessories that don't fit into those categories. Before I get started, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers this month. If my eye looks like I'm crying, it's because I stabbed it before this video. So it's been watering like crazy. Without further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, all of these crochet ideas are super easy, super beginner friendly. There are a couple that are a little more challenging, but definitely still doable as a beginner. They're ones that I did as a beginner, and I struggled a little bit with them, but at the in the end, it I had learned a lot more stitches and a lot more technique with them. And like it says in the title, I will be linking all of these patterns, YouTube videos, free written patterns, they're all free. They will all be linked in the description box below in the order that I say them. So if I say one and you're like, I need the pattern right now, it's down below and they're all in order. The first category we have is hats and hair accessories, okay? So I have about eight in this category. We got a cat hat with the stars, okay? You guys have probably seen this everywhere. It's so cute and it's super easy. Now, if you don't want to do the little star edition, you can also just make a cat beanie. Those are super easy. Um, another one that I really like that's specifically for hair accessory are mohair bows. And those are also super trendy right now. They're all over Pinterest. They're all over TikTok. And they're super, super easy. Another one that I think is super cute are the chunky yarn kind of like bucket hats especially the ones that have like the little teddy bear ears i think those are so cute and they're super easy to learn anything with chunky yarn is like automatically easier to learn because it's so much easier to work with so if you're a super super beginner i suggest doing things with chunky yarn and then we have earmuffs these blew up at the end of last year on tiktok i see them everywhere i'm gonna link a pretty good tutorial for them but you can find so many tutorials so many different kinds there's heart shaped ones there's star shaped ones they're super cute super easy um if you are a more like beginner beginner and you're still trying to get the basics down i suggest a really cute like headband there's thick ones there's thin ones they're really quick workups and their quick workups are really satisfactory and they're really like nice to do as a beginner because it kind of makes you feel accomplished in a short amount of period of time you don't really want to commit to a super long project in the beginning one thing that i've seen that started trending is balaclavas oh my god there are so many different kinds but as a beginner i suggest that you do either a chunky yarn kind of like the teddy bear teddy bear or like bunny ear chunky yarn balaclavas because those are going to be a quick workup and it's really easier to work with the thicker yarn or if you don't want to do a thick yarn one i suggest a granny square balaclava because anything doing with granny squares is going to be very simple very beginner friendly so if you're wanting to make something and you don't think you can do it try to find the granny square version because you can definitely do that one on our next category tops I have made uh, some of these tops actually, so I'm excited to share. So first we have a kind of quick workup, I guess. It's not a lot of yarn, but like a simple bando looking top. Very simple pattern, very easy to follow. Not a lot of counting involved if you want to go that route. Um, the Agatha crop top, I found this one on Pinterest and it's on my list of ones I want to do. But this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It looks pretty fairly simple not a lot of crazy shapes going on and then we have this heart fishnet top personally I haven't done this one yet but it is on my list of things I want to do but from what I've heard it's super easy and it looks like pretty simple stitching so if you want to challenge yourself a little bit as a beginner I would definitely do that one um, another cute one is these like vintage looking granny square vests so cute super easy again anything involving granny squares is where you want to go as a beginner uh, you can make a granny square sweater if you want to make it easy. These ones tend to be a little more like a little more squarey. And for my taste, I don't really love the squarey look. So I actually love 
this sweater. I'm blanking on the name right now, but I will leave the video down below. I followed this video tutorial as a beginner and I made a sweater and it was insane because as a beginner, you don't think you can make a sweater and it is the most beginner friendly sweater tutorial I've ever followed. It's the first and only sweater as a beginner that I went from beginning to end within like a, a few days. And oh, it's so cute. It's super easy. I 10 out of 10 recommend the creator that made this. I'm blanking on her name, but it's linked down below. She's amazing. Definitely follow her tutorial. Um, this other one is a mesh long sleeve. These are blowing up everywhere, especially during the summertime, which we're about to get into summer. I will leave the pattern linked below for that one. Um, another cute one, especially going into summer, is these granny square, like, triangle tops. They kind of go down at a point, kind of towards your stomach, in front of your sternum. Those are super cute, and there's really only, like, I think three granny squares involved, so super quick workup. And then another granny square top is this, like, cropped granny square top where your straps are basically mini granny squares that is a really fun one and I actually have a YouTube tutorial for that one on my channel so I will link that down below so let's move into the bottoms category clothing that is not a top and I only have two in this category because I think when it comes to beginner level there aren't a lot you can do when it comes to bottoms so I'd say any type of skirt, short skirt, I would not commit to a long skirt as a beginner, um, especially if you like instant gratification, I would stick to a short skirt. You can make this kind of skirt where it's a little tighter, um, or you can make one of those flowy skirts that kind of, you can practice basically increasing stitches. If you want to learn how to do that, I suggest skirts. Another cute one, if you want a pair of shorts, but you're not really looking into wanting to do a lot of counting or increase, decrease, and kind of make it look right. A less complicated version is making a granny square shorts. Still super cute, way easier, way more beginner friendly than other pairs of shorts that I've seen on Pinterest. Our next category is bags. I love bags, bags are amazing. But as a beginner, you want to be careful of what bags you pick to do because some of them can just get super confusing and completely turn you off to the idea of crocheting a bag. So the two that I suggest as a beginner are market bags. Mwah! Market bags. I found an amazing tutorial for this market bag and the beginning of my crochet journey when I barely knew anything. A super easy workup, super easy tutorial to follow. And I know the exact video I'm thinking of right now and I will link that below. And then the other one I was thinking of is a patchwork bag because those are really good practice for getting used to assembling pieces together. So you honestly just practice the same square stitch over and over and over. And that's really good practice for you if you have issues with keeping your rows straight. Like if you have an issue increasing and your, your squares kind of end up going like this, you know what I mean? They kind of start increasing. If you need more practice with that, but you want to end up with a bag in the end, you don't want to just practice for fun, patchwork bag. You will get all. You will get so used to doing rows and keeping them straight, you won't have that problem ever again. That's the only way I got over my issue was just doing a bunch of squares and with the idea of being able to put them all together and make a bag at the end. Super freaking cute. Now let's move into like room decor. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a plane flying over my house right now. Okay, the plane is gone. So, room decor category. This is kind of like a catch-all for any kind of decor that goes in a room, I guess you would say, or like a home decor. I kind of had trouble fitting everything into categories. But anyways, candle covers. These are so cute, especially for Valentine's Day. If you have a candle and you think that the jar is kind of ugly or there's like a stupid sticker on it that you can't get off, I suggest making these candle covers. They really help you with learning how to make a circle that increases correctly so it ends up being flat because that's the bottom of the candle holder. Definitely suggest those. Hanging plants, although they look difficult, beginner friendly. Don't let anybody tell you you can't make a hanging plant as a beginner, okay? Just start doing it. That's the hardest part about the hanging plants is getting yourself to think, oh, I could totally make that. Just do it. You could totally make it. I put them off for so long because I thought as a beginner, I couldn't make them. That is BS. You can make them. They're super easy. Another one that I think is super easy and fun to make, especially um, if you want to display something in your room that you made, 
is these crocheted hammocks especially if you're collecting a lot of yarn and you kind of need more space for it crocheted hammocks super easy super simple super cute to go in your room and hold all your fun new yarn another thing is these photo card holders or like picture frame you can even make these into like actual picture frame covers and they're so cute and they're super easy earrings hanging holder i guess you could say it's basically just a giant panel okay it's not that hard it's a giant square and you hang it on the wall and you can hang all your earrings on it it's super simple it looks super freaking cute in your room and you can tell everybody you made it and it looks complicated because all the earrings hanging and it's hanging and it looks so cute but in reality it only took you an hour and it was super simple so it's a good cute little like bragging decor um this these jewelry dishes super freaking cute super simple these ones are really good gifts if you're brand new to, to crocheting and you're kind of still getting used to crocheting um but you want to give people something these are super cute everyone needs jewelry dishes in their life so um these mushroom jewelry holders i did this as a beginner there was trial and error involved if you go slow and you find a good tutorial i'll link one below you can do this okay they look a little difficult totally easy you can do it six days star blanket this has blown up on tiktok as the believe you can do it in six days as a beginner do i think you can do it in six days no i think it's probably going to take about two to three weeks as a super beginner but here's the thing the stitches involved in this and i can vouch i made one of these uh last month i made one of these the stitches involved in this beginner friendly it looks daunting but it's beginner friendly it's just not going to take you six days to do it if you're super slow in the beginning so don't let that discourage you but you will learn a lot with this blanket. I think it's a good project for someone who wants to challenge themselves a bit when it comes to crocheting. Another thing is a bouquet of flowers. Now roses are super easy to make and I'll put a tutorial for that one. Another cute one for your bed are these heart plush pillows. And I know the YouTuber who makes this video and I love her video. She's very detailed, especially for beginners. But these plush crochet pillows super freaking cute another cute thing this is more could be for your bedroom could be for your desk or coffee table but coasters these heart coasters and flower coasters super cute super beginner friendly i'm getting into kind of having things hanging in my room and i made these star garlands for my sibling <laughs> i made these star garlands as a christmas gift last year big hit super easy workup like oh my god took barely any time as a beginner if you want something hanging in your room it's super dainty super cute very you can change to any color color to fit your aesthetic in your room i definitely suggest these star garlands another thing is hanging jellyfish they look so cute and they're so simple like the tentacles are literally just you chaining it's so simple now let's move into our last category which is other accessories basically everything that falls doesn't fit into another category that i had here is gonna fall into this one so another one is leg warmers leg warmers super freaking easy so easy okay the easiest thing you will ever crochet super easy one to two hours i have a video on my channel for that one um these mini teddy bear bags so cute they can fit like a phone cards whatever uh chokers they're coming back okay the dainty lana del rey core lacy chokers super simple get ahead of the trend i'm telling you right now they're coming back um these little butterflies you can make into keychains uh any kind of earrings these like daisy earrings another thing i've seen a lot of are book covers there's a bunch of different kinds of book covers. There's the granny square book covers, which I think for, are pretty beginner friendly, or even like the Valentine's edition love letter crochet book covers. Those are super easy to do. Um, more accessories like AirPod cases. Those are gonna be working more with smaller hooks, smaller yarn. So if that kind of irritates you or gets you frustrated, I don't recommend it, but if you don't mind, then yes. Um, leaf bookmarks, super easy, super cute good for you or a friend who likes reading okay if someone gifted me that i would cry uh checkered wallets 
this one is good if you want to learn how to color switch. If you want to learn how to carry your yarn while color switching, checkered anything really, but checkered wallets I suggest as a beginner because they are small to make and they're small and quick workups so they don't take a lot of time and dedication. Um, and then another one is this Emma book cover. I think it's super cute, especially for February. And you can also make crocheted hook storage pouches or like they can also be like pencil pouches or like lipstick pouches, but these are super easy and um, I know a perfect tutorial for this one. I will link it. And then these like crochet utility pouches. So I personally have like, okay, for example, like you get like these things when you buy a crochet set. You don't have a full set and you're just kind of working with a couple different hooks here and there. I suggest you make yourself a crochet utility pouch because you made it for yourself. It's your supplies. So you can make it any color you want. Super freaking cute. And then last but not least, strawberry keychains. These ones are super cute, especially for summer. You can even adapt the keychain into kind of like a car charm to hang on your mirror. But those are super adorable, super adorable and quick and easy to learn how to kind of switch between colors and work with smaller shapes. And that is the 50th crochet idea recommendation for beginners anyways you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you want all of these i have a pinterest board linked down below with all 50 items that i talked about with these pictures that i showed all on a pinterest board for you and underneath that i'm gonna have every single item linked to a free youtube tutorial or written pattern for you so if you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit my thousand dollar, thousand dollar. I'm trying to hit my thousand subscriber goal by the end of the month. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if there are any of these that you have done and you like doing, or if there's anything that I missed and I should add in the next beginner crochet idea video. So thanks for watching.